Aloha gang, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Alex. Today we're going over how to create your very first song in Ableton, yes! We're gonna go over how to load drums, instruments, effects, and then how to export your very first song so you can become the next music mogul. All this coming right up. jump right in. Now that you've downloaded your sweet, sweet new friend Ableton, there's a few things we got to check out before we can start making music. Let's go over to our preferences. Select the audio tab. Now you want to look at your audio input device and audio output device section. This is where you're going to select your interface that you have. If you don't have an interface, that's okay. Just go ahead and leave it on your built-in output. That way you can hear the sounds out of your computer's speakers. Next, we're going to go to our MIDI tab. If you have a MIDI controller or keyboard, this is where you're going to want to select it. So go ahead and select whichever one you have. I'm going to be using the Axiom, Axiom 25 Classic, so I'll select that. And then go ahead and do the same for input and output. Occasionally it's different depending on the MIDI keyboard that you'll be using. When Ableton first opens up, you're going to see it in session view. This is really the bread and butter of Ableton because it allows you to loop clips. The other view that most people might be familiar with is called arrangement view. This is laid out in a timeline fashion. To switch between the two modes, simply hit the tab button or you can select these two buttons right here and it'll go back and forth. To get the full effect of Ableton's features, we're going to build our song in session view. This is amazing to come up with new songs on the fly and just loop different parts together, building out your song as it comes. So let's go ahead and start by grabbing our drums. If you look over on the left hand side, this is sort of your toolbox of the stock plugins and sounds that comes with Ableton. So click on drums and in order to preview it, you select a drum kit. And then if you're not hearing anything, hit this little headphone tab at the bottom to allow the preview to activate. All right, let's just use that one. Go ahead and double click it. And it's going to open up in your first tab right here. And as you can see, the track is already activated. That means we should be hearing some sounds. If you have a MIDI keyboard, go ahead and hit that and you'll see that the sounds are already loaded up. If you don't have a MIDI controller, that's okay. If you hit this button right here that resembles a keyboard, that's gonna turn your computer keyboard into a controller. So just by hitting the keys, you can control the sounds. Really cool feature. In session view, each of these little circles is a record button. So let's go ahead and pick a tempo that we like. I'm gonna choose 150. And then let's turn on our metronome by hitting this button right here. Now it's time to record. To stop, just hit your space bar or this stop button up at the top. Now let's turn off our metronome and listen back. So as you can see, it's already looping our drums. So now we can pick the next instrument and start building on top of that. If you didn't play it perfectly in time, that's okay. Let's go ahead and open our clip. And you can see all of our notes are laid out in front of us. To quantize or set all the notes directly onto the grid, simply select all of your notes, or you can hit Command A, right click, and hit quantize. That'll put everything directly onto the grid. You can even go in and draw other notes while you have this clip open by double clicking where you want the note to be. So let's find our hi-hat. There we go. Just add that all the way across. Command D to duplicate. Let's 
All right, so let's go ahead and pick our next instrument. I'm thinking, let's pick mallet. So let's come over to our sounds. Just kind of go through something that looks cool. That's fine. So let's drag that over to our MIDI track and you can see that it's already record enabled. So you can already hear something. All right, let's lay something down. That's cool. Let's open that up and take a look. So just like the other clip, this one, it looks like I hit a wrong note. So let's go ahead and move that on up. And I think for this one, I might not even quantize it because it sounds kind of cool just being played loose. All right, next let's add a pad. As you can see, all we have left are these audio tracks. So we're gonna have to make a new MIDI track. In order to do that, hit Shift Command T, or you can come over to Create and select Insert MIDI Track. Let's go ahead and find another sound. That's fine, so let's go ahead and drag that over. Now that we have a few instruments going, let's go ahead and mess around with the mix. So to do that, come down here and these are your faders. So we can go ahead and bring down that pad. By moving these up and down, that's just the volume of the track. So you can kind of get a static mix going. Here's your pan. Maybe we can move that over to the right, move this over to the left. All right, let's go ahead and add some effects to make this a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna add some reverb to our mallets. So let's go over to the audio effects. And if you wanna just use the default reverb, you can just go ahead and drag that over or you can hit this little button right here and it's gonna give you a list of the Ableton presets. So maybe what we wanna pick a big room so we can drag that over to our mallets. Let's take a listen. With it out. That's cool. Another option for your effects is to run it to ascend. So instead of putting it directly on the track and cutting your dry signal, we can go ahead and move this over, select it and move it over to ascend. Ableton already comes with this as the default session. It has a reverb ascend for you. So basically you would just hit this, since this is on um, send A, you'd come over to your track and you'd slowly bring up I'm going to turn this reverb up so you can kind of get a better feel for it. And you just keep coming up with this send until you, it's where you like it. And this is good because you get your dry signal and then you have your effect underneath it rather than adding it directly to your track. Maybe give the drums a little bit of reverb. That's cool. 
All right, next let's add an audio signal. In my case, I'm gonna add a guitar. You might have some vocals or even an analog synth that you would want to run next. So you're gonna need an interface for this. In my case, I have the Apollo Twin Duo. Make sure that your input is selected right here and uh, we're gonna be going into input one. So we'll go ahead and select input one. And you can see we're getting a signal right there. Then just make sure that your record enabled. And then let's go ahead and lay something down. Okay, let's say I wanted to do two different parts. All right, let's add some effects to that. That sounds cool. Now that we have all our pieces, let's perform the loops and get it into our arrangement mode and flesh out the rest of the song. This is where we can take advantage of the global record button. That's the big one up here that will record everything into arrangement mode. So let's hit stop all clips over here on the right hand side and then hit record. And we can just kind of mess around with our loops as we go. So hit tab, and then as you can see, it showed up all in our arrangement view. So now we can go in and kind of mess with our arrangement even further. So let's say we wanted to keep this going. It's already looped, so all you gotta do is drag that section out, drag this section out. Let's say we wanted a little piece of this up in the intro. Copy and paste that over there. Bring this section out. Now that we have a finished song, let's go ahead and export. Come up to the file menu up at the top, hit export audio video, hit export again, and then go ahead and name it my first song, hit save, and it's bouncing down your track. Got an added bonus tip for you guys. If you guys wanna change the look and feel of your Ableton, go over to your preferences folder, click on look feel, come down to this theme, and you can mess around with the different color patterns that they have. If you guys want to go even further with your, with the look and feel, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you can download these custom colors. They're pretty cool. And you can find one that fits your vibe. We got you guys started on making your very first song. Congratulations, but we only scratched the surface. If you guys wanna take a deeper dive, go ahead and check out this video. I'm gonna leave it right here on five Ableton tips to get you working even faster, creating even more and sharing even more with the world. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. If you guys found this video helpful, please drop a like, you know what to do. I'm gonna be dropping a video very soon on how to mix vocals in Ableton with only stock plugins. So make sure you don't miss that. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.